Hello, hello friends. In this video, I'm going to share with you some yard sale finds that we uh, got this weekend. We weren't really planning on going garage sailing, but we found out that one of the towns nearby was having their fall um, town-wide garage sale. I guess they have one in the spring and then they had one in the fall. And so we decided to go and I'm glad we did because we found some really cool things. I'll show you what um, Olivia picked up first and then we'll get into what I picked up. She, Olivia picked up this little um, trinket box. It's just a little trinket box. It's a little um, peacock. <laughs> My brain stopped working there for a minute. It's just a little peacock gold little trinket box and she paid 50 cents for it. And then um, at another sale, she found these, um, they're like little noses for doll making. I don't think she has a project in mind for these, but it's just kind of nice to have these kinds of things in your stash. And she paid 50 cents for that as well. And then of course, it would not be Olivia going to a garage sale if she didn't find an old book and I really like this old book. <clears throat> I told her she needs to let me borrow it for my Christmas decor. That is to be seen. That is yet to be seen whether she'll let me borrow it. But she paid a dollar for this old book. And um, I don't know what the copyright date is. But the inscription, I think there's a, yeah, there's a name written on in there and it says 1906 so it's a very old book and then the last thing she picked up and uh, she paid, paid quite a bit for it but she looked online and it's basically like the going price for these um, it's a special edition Barbie the coca-cola Barbie <clears throat> and she paid $20 for it but she loves collecting dolls and so she really thought a long time before she bought it but then she decided to do it and it's got all um, all the little things that came with it and of course the box all right <clears throat> so that's what Olivia picked up now I don't um, I'm gonna try to just do these in random order because I can't remember which um, which sales we went to when but anyway um, I also picked up a book it is the Miss Marple the complete short stories by Agatha Christie this was 50 cents and um, I always loved watching the Miss Marple on on PBS uh, the murder mysteries they would have on PBS on Sundays. I always loved watching the Miss Marple ones. So when I saw this book, I was like, oh, I, I want that. I want to read that. So I picked that up. And then at that same sale, I picked up this, and it was a dollar. And a lot of the things that I got at the garage selling day were things for my little mouse village. And that's what these are for. They're little little dishes. Like, there's this little red plate. There's several several plates. There, so there's four plates. Um, they might be saucers. No, they're plates. Because I, these are bowls. They're tiny, tiny, tiny. At first I thought they might be cups, but there's no handle. They're little bowls. So there's four bowls, four plates. And I think these are made out of some sort of metal because they're very heavy. And then there's two of these little pots with lids. And these will have some weight to them. So uh, I don't know if they're like little pieces of cast iron. I don't know, but there's two of those. So there's two little pots, four plates and four bowls. And so I will use those in my mouse village. And I paid a dollar for those. Another item I picked up was this. Um, I'm not sure if it's Pyrex. I don't think it is. It doesn't say what brand it is. 
It just says it's microwave safe, made in the USA, oven proof. Um, this little dish, I just loved the design on it and it's a nice size little dish for a side dish for vegetables or whatever and I paid three dollars for it. I don't know if it originally came with a lid or not, but, but that's okay. Um, another sale, I picked up this, it's kind of dirty, I need to wash it up, this little tiny um, kerosene lamp, and they said it works. I won't have any use for, for using it, but this cute little uh, kerosene lamp, I paid 50 cents for it, and it's just really cute like four inches tall maybe so I picked that up and then another sale I got these next two items at the same sale this is also for my little mouse village it's um, like a little rolling cart and the wheels actually work and it's got the little leaves that come up and down I thought that was so adorable paid 50 cents for it and then also at that same sale, I paid 50 cents for this. It's like a, a um, scarf for a, a desk or a dresser or a table runner or something like that. I just really loved the colors in it. I thought it was so pretty. I thought it would be really pretty for the summertime and there were no stains or anything on it. So yeah, I picked that up for 50 cents. She had another one that was um, slightly different and I would have gotten it as well, but it had a big stain on it and I didn't feel like trying to get a stain out. All right, the next several items I got all at the same sale and I can't tell you how much I paid for each item because she just charged me $5 for everything. So let's go ahead and get started. Now some of them do have price tags on the little bags, but like I said, she just charged me $5 for everything. So. I don't know if it would come out to 10 cents for these or not, but in this little bag, um, these are also for my mouse village. Um, I picked up these two, it was for 10 cents, these two little Christmas trees. This, I don't know if it's gonna go in my mouse village or with my other owl, probably with my owl collection, but this was, this was actually um, a dollar marked on the bag, so I don't know if that's what I got charged or not, but it's this tiny, tiny, tiny little owl. So cute. And then this other last little bag, it was uh, marked 10 cents as well. And this, <clears throat> it's like a tiny little nativity scene. It's got, Little baby Jesus. They're so tiny, I don't know if you've been able to see them. And then, I think it's supposed to be, I'm not really sure. I think it's supposed to be Mary and then one of the wise men, but it could be Joseph. I'm not really sure. If I use it as in a little nativity, it's just gonna be baby Jesus and Mary and Joseph. And then also in that bag, oh, these are even tinier. I can get them out, let me see. Don't know what these would have been used for. They're obviously vintage and they are so ex extremely tiny. These little Santas. I just thought these would be so cute in my um, little mouse village. I can use them without losing them because they are so tiny. And in here also with the little Santas are these little round discs. I don't know if you're supposed to like glue them on there so they can stand up. I think that's probably what you need to are supposed to do. That's probably what I will do just to make them a little easier to work with. Put them back in the bag so I don't lose them. So I had all those tiny things. Another thing I got at that sale was this tiny little bell, and it actually works. It's a metal bell. I'll put this up with my other little metal bells. 
Then I got this little wicker, uh, like a Moses basket. And of course that's gonna go in my mouse village. And that's the rest of the, that's the only stuff that I had gotten specifically for my mouse village. She also had <clears throat> these tiny, these like, they're not tiny, tiny, but these little owl figurines. I would, I thought I'd put these on my um, shelf that I have de designated for my owls. And this will finish up my shelf. The shelf will be full. So I got these two that look pretty much identical, very, very close to the same. And then this one, um, another mommy owl with a little baby. So cute. There's no markings or anything on the bottoms of them. Um, these feel kind of like that 1970s plastic. And this one feels a little bit newer as far as the plastic goes. So, but I don't know, there's no markings on. So then another thing I picked up at that sale was this tray and I got it because it's definitely older and I love the fall scene on it. And I'll use this somewhere downstairs in my fall decor. And um, originally she was gonna charge me 50 cents for it. But like I said, she just charged me $5 for everything. So I'm not sure if that works out. And then the last thing I picked up at that sale and then the last thing in this haul is this bag of goodies. And this was also marked 50 cents. And I don't even know what's all in here. I haven't looked. So we will be looking together. Lots of very old vintage Christmas stuff. There's this Santa on a sleigh. And you can just tell by looking at it. This is probably from the 60s. It probably had reindeer with it at one time, I would imagine. Um, this I probably won't keep. It's very dirty and I don't really do snowmen, but I will, I'll probably clean it up and then re-donate it back. This was in that bag. I got it for all these vintage Santas. This one, it feels soft and squishy, so I'm not sure what kind of rubber this is, but look at that adorable vintage Santa face. So cute. I love it. And let's see, here's another. It's the same type of material. It's like a squishy rubber. This one's not quite as cute, but I'll probably keep it anyway. It's very, I don't know if this was like on the top of something, it was a toy. I'm not really sure. So this is the last Santa that's in the bag. And I'll keep that one for sure too. Very cute. And then, um, let's see, what is this? Okay, that's just caught. It just looks like an old, old Christmas ornament that maybe somebody made at one time. I might save this and put on my vintage tree. And then there's this wooden angel ornament. I'll probably donate that. Then there's a little flocked teddy bear. I'll probably donate that back as well. And then there's these two little angels, which I will keep. There's this little dinky one. These are all kind of dirty. They all need to be cleaned up. There's that angel. And then there's this angel. So that's it. That's it for our uh, garage sale. Like I said, it was kind of a last minute decision to go and we kind of went later in the day. So we didn't hit probably the best deals, but you know, you don't, you can't miss what you don't know. So we don't know what was there. So we can't miss it, you know, be sad that we missed it. So I got a lot of really cool things and I'm very happy with it and we had a fun time. And here is where I placed some of those items. This is the little lamp, lamp little a kerosene lamp and the little bell. And then as you can see on here, my owl shelf is completely full. 
I put the little pot and the set of dishes with one of my mouse family. And here you can see I put the little Moses basket in the latest um, house that I made for my little mouse family. Now since filming this video, I have moved some of the items into the printer's tray that I showed you in one of my previous vlogs. Some of these little tiny items just fit in there perfectly and I was so excited to use it that way. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know as always what was your favorite find that I, either Olivia or I found in this garage sailing adventure. Uh, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and a comment in the comment section below and we'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye, friends.